This is WCPO 9 News. I'm Julie O'Neill. Here's a look at some of the day's top stories. An early morning shooting in the heart of Over the Rhine leaves one person dead, another person recovering in the hospital at last word. Police say the shooting happened on East 13th, about 3.30 this morning. They've not released any suspect information as of yet. We've now learned a second person has died at a home in Newport. Police called to this area of 8th Street and Ann about 4 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. They were there past 11 last night. We're not sure what caused the deaths as we continue to work to learn more from them. Cincinnati police looking for the driver that crashed into a Mount Auburn apartment building, then got out and ran. You see the damage left behind to the unit on Broadway Street just after 1.30 in the morning. Nobody inside the building at the time, police say. It's not clear what caused the driver uh, and uh, to run into the building or whether or not that driver was injured. Cincinnati firefighters say the building should be safe for everyone else who lives there. And this morning, increased concern Ohio will need to delay the May primary. Last night, the Supreme Court ruled the third set of maps from the redistricting commission for state house and Senate races is unconstitutional. Now members have 12 days to get new maps to the secretary of state. Over the past few weeks, county election officials have expressed concern about timing and certification of ballots ahead of the vote. Well, today is St. Patrick's Day and your forecast it works to get outside. You just pick a time and get out there. Mid 40s out the door, low 60s at the noon hour, topping out around 72 degrees today. I mean, is this normal for this time of year? No, it's almost 20 degrees above the average. But we'll take it and we'll run with it. Tonight we're down to 48. The sky is partly cloudy and tomorrow will be an overcast day. There's the clouds to start. We'll see some isolated showers beginning around the noon hour, but it's the later afternoon and evening that could turn a little bit stronger. We'll get a look at the storms ahead.